the past 14 years, Paralympian Augusto Goose Perez has been battling a rare aggressive form of cancer that attacks connective tissue. The cancer has come back four times since then, and though he's lost his leg to the disease, Perez refuses to let it take away his spirit. My choices would be to be on a couch, drugged up with painkillers and feeling sorry about myself, or being out there and enjoy whatever time I have left. I owe it to my kids, I owe it to my wife, and to everybody else who has been there helping me out. Perez, who's from East Syracuse, has been to the Paralympics twice before for curling, but this will be his first time competing in the biathlon, which is one of the toughest of the Olympic sports. It's as hard or harder than the uh, Olympic Games because we train as hard, but sometimes we only use half the body. Training hard is a way of life for Perez at 41. He's one of the oldest members of the U.S. Paralympic team. He's also one of the toughest. As he says, he'd rather fight and inspire than quit and retire. I have no control over my cancer, no control over being an MPT. But what I do reflects on my kids. I make it see, see me down because of what happens to me. They just see me defeated. And uh, why waste whatever time I have left? defeated. Doctors say Perez has only a 15 percent chance of surviving the next five years, but Perez refuses to dwell on the future, preferring instead to focus on living each moment to the fullest. Time to cry and time to feel sorrow is the day I die. Until then, all you have to do is enjoy your life. Uh, the fact that I'm going through cancer should not make you feel miserable or sad. Just enjoy that I'm here for whatever time I am. Perez leaves for Sochi this weekend. He hopes to bring back the gold to central New York, but no matter what happens there, one thing is certain. Goose Perez is already a winner. In Syracuse, Brandon Roth reporting.